Forward Thinking is sponsored by the Maine Education Association. Well, STEM in school is all about a hands-on education, and one main school is putting a focus on saving the environment. In this week's Forward Thinking, we go to Bethel, where middle school students are learning how to create electricity and how they can help with renewable energy by using the newest technology. I think it's been a good We started with some chemistry. Now we're getting into some electrochemistry. In this class... Well, we don't want the um, electrons to be able to go... Just about every day is a day of discovery. That's just negative. If you switch the side, it'll go positive. In this lab, students are learning how to energize, literally. Some metals like to give away electrons. Some metals like to take them in. And if you allow them that opportunity, you can produce electricity. That happens when you stack copper and zinc with pieces of paper and foil in between. Add a little salt water or vinegar, throw in some wires, and after a test with a multimeter to make sure you have enough voltage. 6.13, and they got the LED to light up. You have a homemade battery. Once they have the battery functioning, they're going to 3D print a casing for it. That casing will solder on to leads on the end, and then next week we will try to drain that battery and recharge it with a wind turbine that we build with the 3D printer blades. It might sound confusing, but for these students, it sounds like a better way to learn. If I do hands-on learning, it helps me learn better personally instead of reading something because I get distracted really easily. In this eighth grade physical science class, students also use 3D printers to make rockets. All these pieces, you have um, like blocks, like cylinders, boxes, spheres, and you use these things to design these. When, when they have free time. And then for fun, some of the class even created pucks for an air hockey table. Just an activity that you can do. It's kind of like playing a sport or, you know, building something out of your house or building a fort, but you're learning, so it's kind of two in one. You get to do something fun and learn. And that's why so many educators like this one at Telstar Middle School now believe hands-on is the way to go. To see them build something from scratch, make it work, uh, has just been, it, it, it's so important.